Draw preview for Indian Wells 2021, the men's tournament. Let's start with the players that are not playing in this event. Okay, so the players that are not playing in this event, and there's a few names that have been added to this list as well. So we've got Bedene, Bublik, Shardy, Chilich, Choric, Cuevos, Djokovic, Federer, Goffan, Umber, Nadal, Raonic, Team, and Stan the Man Vavrinka. So the defending finalist, the defending champion, not playing in this one with Team and Federer not being involved. And uh, also the semi finalist from two years ago in Nadal and Raonic, both not playing in this one as well. Uh, also, add to the list, we've got Ema. He's not playing, and Avashka is also not playing in this event. Top of the draw, let's go to it. So Medvedev, number one seed, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of McDonald versus Duckworth. And Duckworth's in some good form, so it's going to be an interesting second round matchup no matter what happens for Medi. Uh, then you've got Giron versus the qualifier. Winner of that plays Krajanovic, the 27th seed in the second round. Then you've got Dimitrov, the 23rd seed, by in the first round. He'll wait a winner of Altmaier and Query, who are going out in the first round. Then you've got Cole Schreiber versus Daniel. Winner of that play is the number 16 seed, Opelka. Now, Krajanovic, we've talked about him a little bit on the show already. He is a tough opponent for Medvedev in the third round. Not to mention, Dimitrov also might be a tough customer for Medi. Medvedev, tough little part of the draw here. Second part of the draw, we've got Shapo, the number nine seed, buying the first round. He, he awaits the winner of Pospisil and the wild card Wolf, who are going at it in the first round. Then you've got a qualifier versus the wild card Spider. Winner of that place, Karatsev, the 19th seed in the second round. Then you've got the 32nd seed, Quarter. He takes on either Pear or Tiafo who are going at it in the first round. Then you got Poprin versus Kecmenovic. The winner, the winner of that plays against the number eight seed and Miami Open champion, Hubi Hercatch. So this is a very tough draw, this part of the draw. You've got Shapo, Karatsev, Korda, and Hercatch. Any of those guys could get through this part of the draw. And remember, this part of the draw takes on the top section of the draw. So the winner of this part of the draw will take on in the quarterfinals, potentially Medvedev. So we could be getting Shapo versus Medvedev, or her catch Medvedev, or one of the other players versus Medvedev, or maybe not even Medvedev in the quarterfinals. Next section of the draw, we've got Rublev. He awaits the winner of the, Span uh, the Battle of the Spaniards with Tabernacle versus Munir. So a good start for Rublev, you'd expect. Uh, then we've got Paul versus Lopez. Winner plays Lajevic, the 28th seed in the second round. Then you've got the 21st seed, Nori. He awaits the winner of Montero or Sandgren, who are going at it in the first round. Quan versus Pella. Quan's in some good form as well, so keep keep an eye on him. Winner of that match takes on either uh, takes on RBA, the 15th seed. So this is probably the easiest section of the draw in terms of big names. I think Rublev should get out of this part of the draw. Norrie's been in good form. Quan won a title a couple of weeks ago. Also RBA, we know he's very good. He's got experience, but I would say that Rublev has the best draw. Like this is the best section of the draw uh, for for any of the big top 10 guys all right bottom part of the top half of the draw so section four we've got schwartzman the number 11 seed he gets a buy in the first round he'll take on either a qualifier or jera who are going at it in the first round then you've got nishikori versus another qualifier winner of that plays dan evans the 18th seed in the second round then you've got lloyd harris number 26 seed he's into the second round thanks to a buy it'll either be fakina or johnson who he takes on in the second round because they're going at it in the first round. Then you've got another qualifier in this section of the draw versus Bayana. Winner of that plays against number six seed, Kaspar Ruud, who's in great form, won more titles in 2021 than anybody, including Djokovic. So he's in great form, also won a tournament last week. But I don't think it's that easy, this part of the draw. I feel like Harris, in great form, he could beat Ruud. Schwartzman, Nishikori, they've been in great form on hard courts in the past. They could beat Ruud as well. So this is not an easy section for Kasper Ruud. Uh, and anyone could get out of this part of the draw. By the way, this part of the draw takes on Rublev's section of the draw. So we could be getting Ruud versus Rublev. We could be getting Schwartzman versus Rublev. We could be getting Harris versus Rublev. So a lot of uh, possibilities there. But Rublev, like I said, probably has the easiest quarter of the draw. So the bottom half of the draw, things start to get really interesting. We've got Berrettini, the fifth seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He takes on either Kudla or a qualifier in the second round. Then we got Koryu versus Nakashima. Winner of that takes on the number 31 seed, Taylor Fritz, in the second round. Then we got Isna, the 20th seed. He awaits the winner of Delbonis and Nishioka, who were going at it in the first round. Then you got our boy, the wild card, Jack Sock. 
He takes on Johnny Millman, one of my uh, countrymen in the first round. Winner of that plays Yannick Sinner, the 10th seed in the second round. Very interesting matchup if it's Sock versus Sinner in that second round. Uh, so, look, this is... Berrettini should get through this part of the draw, but it's going to be tough. You know, playing Americans in America is always tough. And then Sinner is in great form. Uh, Isner also in pretty good form. So, I don't think Berrettini's got... Got it, got it easy. He should get through, but I don't know if he will. All right, next section of the draw, and I'm probably, I'm thinking this is probably the section of death. This is probably the uh, the worst part of the draw, in terms of like, if you're if you're a fan of any of these players, this part of the draw sucks because there's no guarantees. Monfils, the 14th seed, buying the first round, he'll take on either Fuchovic or Maga, who are going up, who are going at it in the first round. Then you've got Kevin Anderson taking on Thompson. Winner of that takes on the number 17 seed, Sonego, in the second round. Alcarez, baby Rafa, the 30th seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of the wild card, Andy Murray versus Manorino. So Murray versus Alcarez, second round matchup, potentially. Potentially. Then you've got the qualifier versus Brooksby. Winner of that takes on Sasha Zverev, the number three seed. Like I said, this is a tough section of the draw. This is probably the section of death. If you have to go with one of the worst sections of the draw, if you're a fan of these players, it's tough. Murray, again, he gets screwed over with the draw, has to play a very tough draw. Um, Zverev, he doesn't want to play Alcarez in the set, in the third round. That's a very tough draw. Uh, Monfils is in good form, so he's not he's not a pushover. Sonego, watch out for him. Anderson, great experience, loves playing on hard courts. Fucevic, very underrated player. Brooksby was in good form against Djokovic at the US Open. So this is not an easy draw by any standard. I don't know who's getting out of this part of the draw. It could be Zverev. It could be somebody else. Like this, this could really just, this part of the draw could produce a random quarterfinalist. And by the way, the, the winner of this part of the draw will take on Berrettini's section of the draw. So on the, you know, we could be getting Zverev versus Berrettini if we're going by the seeds, but it could be Monfils versus Sinner, which is what we got last week in Bulgaria. So, uh, I mean, Isner, uh, you know, Isna versus Elkarez. That could happen. You know, so it's very, a very wide open part of the draw, um, especially this part of the draw with a lot of killers. All right, almost there. Almost down the bottom of the draw now. We've got the number seven seed, FAA, buying the first round. He'll take on the winner of Ramos, Vinales, and Musetti. We're going at it in the first round. Then we've got Jerisimov versus a qualifier. Winner of that takes on the number 29 seed, Basilash Vili, in the second round. Then we've got Hashinov, the silver medalist at the Olympics, the 24th seed in this one. He awaits the winner of the of Kopfa versus Rusevori in the first round there. Then you've got Bagnus versus a qualifier. Winner of that takes on the bronze medalist at the Olympics. The number 12 seed, Carino Busta. So this is another wide open part of the draw. I wouldn't say it's the draw, you know, the, the, the toughest section of the draw because I feel like, you know, the section above this was a lot tougher and a lot crazier. But this also could produce a, a, a random uh, quarter finalist. Look, like I said at the start of the show, Hashinov. Uh, played well here before. He could get through. Uh, Carino Busta could get through. FAA, we know he's in great form uh, in America at the moment. A couple of, you know, US Open was a great breakout for him. He could get through. Uh, they're the three guys I'd be watching out for. But, yeah, it's, 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 a, little bit, it's a little bit tricky to, to try and predict this one. But it's not, a, it's not like the group of death that we just saw before. All right, final part of the draw. We've got the 13 seed, Garen. He awaits the winner of the wild card rune who's taking on a qualifier. Uh, then we've got another qualifier in this part of the draw, taking on Anduha. Winner of that takes on the number 22 seed, Demonor, in the second round. Then we've got Fabio Fanini, the 25th seed. Uh, he awaits the winner of Struff and Gallen, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Martinez versus a qualifier, and the winner of that plays number two seed, Stefanos Sintipas, in the second round. Uh, look, Sintipas, if you're looking at who has the easiest draw out of the top guys, it's Stefano City Pass. Fanini is probably his worst opponent, but he has a 2 0 record over Fanini. Hasn't lost a set to Fabio Fanini in the two meetings either. So I would say that City Pass should be able to get to the quarterfinals um, without, like, look, technically, he shouldn't drop a set. The only thing is, the only question is the qualifier. If he plays a guy like Kokonakis or Karlovic, then things might get a little dicey. But if he has to play, if he doesn't have to play either of those guys, from the qualifiers, he should get to the quarterfinals. And by the way, this part of the draw takes on the FAA section of the draw. So 
Not to mention, if Pass does win his section of the draw easily, he'll go to the quarterfinals fresh, and potentially, you know, he should make the semis um, in, in this whole thing. So, Pass has got the best draw out of the big guys for, my, uh, for me. Okay, there it is, the Indian Wells draw in complete detail. Let me know down in the comments and also in the chat Who's going to win this tournament based on the draw? I said Sidzy Pass. I'm going to stick with Sidzy Pass. But again, it's one of those tournaments where we could get a player outside the top 10 or outside the top 10 seeds that could win this event. Hashinov, dark horse for me. Watch out for him. You know, played well here a couple of years ago. Lost to Rafa in a couple of close tie breaks. I would be watching out for him especially. Um, but, you know, again, let me know down in the comments and in the chat who's going to win this one.